Now let's create the appointment again and then send it to your colleagues. I'll select 27th and here I can directly create new appointment. Write the subject. Set the location and time is already set but if you want to change it you can change that as well. Now let's save and close. So now it's set. Now let's invite the attendees to the meeting. Select the current date and click on invite attendees. Now it has two options. One is invite attendees to the occurrence. That means you only want to invite them to the current meeting or you want to invite the attendees to the series of meetings in all the coming weeks. So right now I want to invite them to the occurrence means what is selected here, the current meeting. So let's select. Now when we will add more people to it from the address book, you can select all the individuals working in your company or all the contacts that you want to add. But right now I have to mention the email. So for example, and here is my email subject and content. Let's send it. Now let's check my email. Here's the email notification for the meeting. If I open it, this is RSVP. Look safe, mark it as look safe. Now when you click on look safe, it will show you the notification something like this. Yes, maybe no. And this is notification for the meeting set up on this date. And the agenda is this. So if I click on yes, the response will be recorded. You can also respond it from here. Right now, the other Gmail account is not configured here. Otherwise, I could have shown you here as well how to respond uh, to the meeting email. Anyways, if I go to the calendar now and look for the date, I can track the occurrence and their replies. You will uh, see the response as accepted once you receive the reply from your participant. So that's how you can know that who has accepted the invitation for the meeting and who will attend. So this is also a very good option in Outlook.